The purpose of this animation is to illustrate how the bit shift right and bit shift left instructions can be used to create shift registers in PLC applications. Here we have the bit shift right and bit shift left shift register instructions. BSL and BSR are output instructions that load data into a bit array one bit at a time. The data is shifted through the array and then unloaded one bit at a time. The file input field is populated with the address of the register you wish to manipulate such as a B3 bit file or an N7 integer file address. The control input field is populated with the R6 file address where the status bits for these instructions are to be stored. The shift instructions enable, done, Unload and error status bits can be accessed in the R6 control file referenced in this field. The bit address field is populated with the source location for the bit being shifted into each of these register instructions. The length field is populated by the number of bits you want in the array. Typical values are 8, 16, and 32 bits. The BSR and BSL instructions work in the same way. The shift direction and locations at which data is shifted in or out is the significant difference between these two instructions. We will use a simple practical example to illustrate how these shift instructions can be employed. Here we have a bottle line application. Shift registers are ideally suited to applications of this nature. Shift registers can be used to track items as they move down the line through the various stations in the process. In this application, we need to track bottle size, large or small, as well as if the bottle is damaged and should be scrapped. We will use one shift register to track the bottle size, and a second register to track the location of damaged bottles on the line. Three sensors located at the start of the line will provide the data and stimulus for loading the shift registers. The first sensor senses the arrival of a bottle on the line. We can use this sensor to trigger a shift in the registers. The second sensor in the line senses the size of the bottle underneath it. Large bottles trip the limit switch causing a 1 to be present. Small bottles, on the other hand, do not reach the limit switch, so the value will remain at zero. A one or zero will be loaded into the size shift register for each bottle. The value will then be shifted along with the bottle as it moves down the line. The third sensor detects if a bottle is damaged and must be scrapped. A one indicates a damaged bottle. A zero indicates the bottle can be filled and capped. The state of this sensor is used as the source bit for the second shift register. The second shift register is used to track scrap. This application has three stations that use the data in the two shift registers. The fill station, the scrap station, and the cap ram station. The actions performed at these stations are dependent upon the size and condition of the bottle as it reaches each station. A small bottle must be filled by the small fill charge. It must not be dumped by the scrap gate, and it must be capped by the cap ram station. A large bottle, on the other hand, must be filled by the large fill charge. It must also not be dumped by the scrap gate and must also be capped at the cap ram station. A damaged bottle must not be filled. It must cause the scrap gate to open on its arrival at the scrap station. The cap ram must also be inactive when the empty slot in which the bottle was located before it was removed reaches the cap ram station. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will only follow the status of the scrap tracking shift register. The sensor that detects scrap is used as the bit source. The scrap gate is 10 bottles past this sensor, and the cap ram is 15 bottles past this sensor. We can therefore use a 16-bit shift register. We have selected the file address of B37 for this BSR register. 
Mapping the register against the application, we can see that B37 bit 15 is the address of the bottle as it is inspected for damage. The fill station location corresponds to address B37 bit 10 in our BSR shift register. We can also see that address B37 bit 6 corresponds to the scrap gate location. Lastly, the cap ram station maps to the last bit in the BSR shift register and has an address of B37 bit 0. We will now track a damaged bottle down the line using this shift register. Assume the bottle currently under the sensor is damaged. The sensor detects this damage and a 1 is loaded into the shift register in the first location as the arrival sensor detects a bottle arriving. Watch as the line advances and the damaged bottle is tracked as it moves down the line. At this point the damaged bottle is directly under the fill tube. An NC contact would be located on the fill tube rung of the program. This normally closed contact would have an address of B37-10 and would be opened as the bottle arrived due to a 1 value now located at that address. The now open contact would interrupt continuity on the fill tube rung and the station would be disabled while the damaged bottle is in this location. The fill station would be re-enabled as the damaged bottle moves past this location on the line. At this point, another damaged bottle is detected and another one is shifted into the register. In addition, a normally open contact having address B37 bit 6 is located on the scrap gate rung, and as the contact closes, the gate opens dropping the scrap bottle. As the line advances, the B37 bit 6 normally open contact opens again and the scrap gate is closed. Here once again the B3710 contact disables the fill station while the damaged bottle is present. Another normally closed contact with address B37 bit 0 disables the cap run rung as no bottle is available for capping. This was the empty slot left behind as the first damaged bottle was dumped down the scrap gate. As the slot for the scrap bottle moves past the cap ram, the one in the register is shifted out as we no longer need to track the status of this location. As we have seen, shift registers allow for position tracking of items in a process as they move through the process. These registers are widely used in a large variety of PLC applications.